the day when we will always remember it as the day that Drake literally had his ass handed to him. Pusha T has released story of Adidon and Adidon might be in reference to Adidas and Adonis and Adonis is Drake's alleged son with a lady who happens to be a former porn star allegedly and apparently they're living in France and she's hiding him anyway not hiding him but Drake is hiding the fact that he has a son that's neither here nor there anyway Pusha T released a track story of Adidon a mad diss track and Pusha T and Drake have a history of beefing all the time Pusha T says he will surgically be picking on Drake this entire summertime and um, the line surgical summer is a direct response to Drake's line in Duppy Freestyle which is the freestyle that Drake released to diss Pusha it even sounds cute aww Duppy Freestyle and he says that um, um, he is too resilient get out of your feelings it's gonna be a cruel summer for you it's looking like it's gonna be a cruel summer for Drake or this could mean um, it's in reference to Drake getting like suction done the other summer anyway so Drake told Pusha, holla when you're multi, and Pusha claims that even though Drake claims he's worth multi-million shillings, because he's signed to Birdman, he's probably as broke as Lil Wayne. He suggests that Drake parades his father, who wears an oversized Steve Harvey-like unfashionable suit in public to emphasize his blackness. Now why? Why? Why, why would you go and say something like that? You, you're a J, hence I'm guessing she's your Beyonce, but she does not live up to the title of Beyonce. And then he says, you cleaned her up for IG, but she still got that stench on her. So, between Drake and Pusha T, who are you supporting in that rap beef? We have McMill, wanna know, and Drake again, because Drake's other hobby is fighting with other rappers. Here, it's very clear Drake won, but anyway, it's up to you to decide. So, McMill was basically calling out Drake for being fake, or allegedly snitching on his best friend and getting him sent to jail. And then Drake, this is McMill with a club banger. Can you imagine being in a club? And then the song that's playing while you're there and you're being bought for bottles by your mama, who at that time was Nicki Minaj, is a song where you're being dissed. That was harsh. McMill's comeback was so poor. His, his, his comeback was, I'm also platinum. My platinum babe is Nicki Minaj and also have a Rolls Royce. So weak. And then Drake comes back and says, um, clearly, um, McMill was on a tour that was his girl's tour because it was just an opening act and not a main act. So so he stopped saying he went on a world tour. That was a bit of a weak, you know, back and forth. But anyway, who do you support? McMill wanna know or Drake back to back? And then we have Jay-Z take over and Nas Ether. I don't know about you or you or you or everyone in this studio right now, but I believe Ether was the dopest jam ever. Take over! Anyway, so Jay-Z, let's give him a bit of credit. So he, he really tried Angalao. He said that his jam was was produced by Kanye. Ah, and then right now they're not talking. And then aside from threatening Nas's life several times, back in the day, that's how you diss someone. Taku jama. And then um, obviously trying to reiterate that ROC is running the rap game i mean jay-z tried and then the mother house started nas came in with every line from everywhere abused everyone and then he um the reason why the song was called ether is because it's a potent and aesthetic and apparently there's nothing in the world more helpless and irresponsible than a man who has been who is in the depths of an ether binge so Pusha, story of Adenon, Drake, what did Drake rap about again? Oh, the really cute jam, Duppy Freestyle. And then there was Meek Mill wanna know, Drake back to back, Jay-Z take over, Nas, Ether. And then we also had two of the greatest rap beats of all time. Tupac Hit Em Up remains one of the greatest comebacks of all time. Also the song with so many swear words, you cannot listen to this song in the car with your parents. And it was a comeback to Who Shot Ya by Notorious B.I.G. Who amongst all those diss track rappers did you love the most let us know below let who do you love what line do you love what is it about the jams you love in general do you think they should be um you know dissing each other hey dissing why can't i just speak english why why even english has refused completely now should they be dissing each other or doing rhymes together and releasing dope ass tracks for us to dance to wherever we are let us know in the comment section down below this is hashtag hnh984 and remember to tune in every monday to thursday 7 to 10 p.m